Hi Libra, welcome to your new love reading for January 2020. Happy New Year to you, happy new decade also. Uh, this is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may represent other areas or re resonate in other areas of your life. Also, uh, check out the description box below for everything else you need to know about this reading, including the recommend a reader shout out link, which goes to love your self worth. Love and support to her, check her out, show her some love and support. Also, this could be a new development in your current romantic situation, not necessarily like a, just a brand new out of the blue love. It could be an existing um, new, an existing, de a new development in an existing relationship. All right, hold on a minute here. I got a the spray bottle because I got someone wanting to climb up. No, 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 no. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, the look on his face, the betrayal. Okay. All right. Libra, new love. All right. So we got eight of swords, the devil. <laughs> wow, Libra. <laughs> the devil, ace of pentacles, two of wands. Wait a minute here. All right, little guy. You got to go. Can't have it. Nope. Come on. Whoops. Seven of Wands, Knight of Wands. All right, let me see who we're dealing with here. Knight of Cups, that could be Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, this could be Capricorn. Um, what else? All right, where's the little guys here? It's throwing me off because I got the little spray bottle here and I don't, I'm having to reach around. I'm not used to all that. Anyway, it's funny how one little thing can throw you off. Okay, so here we go. All right, so you, <laughs> oh, get it? All right, uh, so you've had, this looks like somebody that you're really enjoying spending time with and you are thinking that this is, huh, this is something that, did you, oh, you're still, okay, Libra, you're still having physical relations with them, but you're not sure with them, not him, them, so it could be male or female, um, but you're, We've got Knight of Wands here too. So yeah, they're still, and, and, and it's quite uh, the connection with this person. So you might have ended things and this relationship um, was based on primarily the chemistry you have with each other or um, you are still engaged in physical relationship with this person even after it has ended um, because it's, it's quite, uh, it's kind of good. <laughs> it's, uh, the physical connection is, is pretty much off the charts here. Um, so it looks like actually that you, it's, you're not done. You might want to be done with this person. So it's not new. Um, this is someone, you know, but is it someone you just met or is this someone that you ended things with that's coming back? What is it? What's this? All right. So what's this devil about here for Libra? Whoopsie, it says devil. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. What's this Ace of Pentacles about for Libra? Watch it be the devil card. <laughs> this is Ace of Pentacles about for Libra. King of Wands. That could be uh, Sagittarius. Okay. What's this Two of Wands about? Queen of Cups. Cups. Okay, so that could be Cancerian. So we got some people here. Um, hmm. Is that why you don't know what to do? What's this Six of Cups about? So we got two sixes here. Seven. So there's there's some frustration and kind of not knowing what to do, feeling stuck right now. Um, some frustration. This is King of Pentacles. That could be Virgo. So you need to keep your wits about you 
with this person. This for January for you, Libra, the Libras I'm reading for, this is primarily a physical relationship. You secretly are going to have more feelings with the, for this person, but for some reason you're not going to know what to do about them. Is it that you're dealing with two people? Is it that this is somebody that's dealing with two people? Um, there's somebody else involved here, but this is a really good uh, <laughs> physical connection. So it's it's one of those things where it's going to be really hard to see the forest for the trees because that the chemistry is off the charts here. Um, it could be that you've ended the formal relationship, but you two are still um, seeing each other physically, and that's what's causing you stress um, and frustration here because this is someone that's not... Um, I think you might have two people here. Somebody that wants a commitment and somebody else you're still dealing with that doesn't want a commitment, but you're... Um, the chemistry with them is pretty uh, off the charts. What's this seven of wands here for Libra? Seven of wands. So it's gonna be it's gonna be busy. It might even be a crowded month for you, Libra. <laughs> okay, so seven of wands, uh, five of wands. Okay, what's this Knight of Cups about? This Knight of Cups. All right, so you. Okay, so Knight. Of, hold on. This is Knight of Cups. All right, Ten of Cups. So here's the thing. You've got to. You're dealing with two people. And you're going to have to decide and you want it. It feels like you want the one with a really great physical connection, but you've got somebody else that is going to be ready for the stability and you, they tick all the boxes, but they don't have the connection physically for you like the other person does. And you, you can, there, there can be for the levers that I'm reading for, um, for whatever reason, you are in a prime position to be out and among and dating and doing the things. Um, but you don't, want you're you're stuck because it's like you don't want that you kind of want you want it to happen with the physical the one where you have the the great chemistry with but they're not available for connection really it's just physical um and so you're kind of stuck in between and it's you're it's almost like you're just doing what is pleasurable at this point you you don't want to um really concentrate on stability but here's the thing, I think it's because you want to wait for that other person to be available and that is nebulous. That's not anything you can pin down with that person. So this is about, I, I think you're just kind of biding your time. I don't think you're starting with the other person. There's somebody else that's interested in you though and they're they're ready to do the thing and but you don't feel about them the way they feel about you and you want the stability with the person you're having the great physical relationship with but that's not happening for whatever reason it, it could very well be that they're otherwise involved or they're just not about having that serious why am i grabbing this oh serious connection with somebody um so it looks like you're going to be kind of keeping yourself busy doing and still dealing with that person and possibly even dating like that's your person that you're dealing with physically and then you're just kind of keeping yourself unattached. The, this is for the Libras, I mean, that I'm reading for. It's not obviously going to apply to everybody. But, um, and consider too that this person that you um, are really physically attracted to and having a good time with, they're not the most emotionally available either. So it, it is just the physical connection. They're not... Just because they're nice doesn't mean they're available. You know what I mean? Just because they're considerate or courteous doesn't mean that that's emotional availability ability per se. What else for Libra? Libra. Knight of Swords. Holy cow. So we got three knights. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, you're going to be busy. <laughs> you can... <laughs> You're going to be busy. Uh, this, it, uh, I think you're going to have to be taking charge of your own self and your own needs and your own happiness and managing a very busy schedule in um, January. It could very well be that um, you are going to have to set the boundaries for this person in particular that you're dealing with on a physical level because um, because you do feel such a draw to them. And it's it's not what you want though it's the physical connection there but the emotional connection isn't and the stability isn't the the um yeah the stability and security and it this is that connection that kind of makes you want to compromise that because of the physical connection but so you're going to have to be the one that is is really setting the boundaries because you're 
it's like you keep wanting to kind of negotiate and you can't because this person that you have the great physical connection with they will take whatever you can give they'll they're in it for whatever um, and that and then that's that so you're gonna have to be the one to set the boundaries because they won't they're not interested in boundaries yeah <laughs> Okay, and this also though, it because you've got somebody with the physical connection and you've got somebody else that is interested in you and you're probably kind of doing whatever you want because of a recent ending, um, th this is, it's, it's just going to be a very kind of independent you doing your own thing type of month. Dating if you want, you know, connecting physically with that other person if you want, um, entertaining other offer. I mean, it's just, you're just going to be busy. You're just going to be doing what you want this month for January. I think also too, though, I, I think that you're going to be doing that because, again, consider that you secretly still might be waiting for that other person to, to kind of come around because you want that connection um, mentally and um mentally or that emotional connection as well as that stability with them with the physical connection and you got somebody else that will offer that but you're not really physically attracted to them what else for the libra see the bigger picture and that's okay so that's what i was talking about here's the thing you are doing that negotiating thing like i i've said earlier and that's just about you wanting the whole package, the whole picture with the person that you have that physical connection with that is unavailable emotionally and is not interested in com connection or commitment. Um, so you might have ended things with them, but you're still connected physically. You're still doing the thing. Um, it could be that you have ended another relationship and then you found this person, but they're not available emotionally or um, for connection or stability, but physically you two have a relationship. Then you've got somebody else who's interested in you, who wants um, all the things with you, but you're just, for some reason, you're not interested in that. So what you've done is effectively put yourself kind of in the middle where you're too busy for this one and you're only available at certain times for this one. But I think it's to create desire and mystery and allure for this person that you're enjoying a physical relationship with because you really want to be with them. You want more with them and you're trying to kind of create that interest and allure and it's not working because they aren't, they're interested in situations only. Um, so just so you're aware, I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do, right? But just be aware that any kind of interest that you're do you're trying to create, what you're really doing is um, trying to bargain with yourself in a situation. You're trying to kind of manipulate and work the situation because let's be honest, you want to be with the person and you need, that's when this, so when this says, look at the big picture, that's what you need to understand. Just understand that you're doing this because you secretly deep down have this wish to have the whole package, the whole picture with this person that you can't. So then when you realize that that's what you're doing, it becomes a choice rather than going, darn it, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this, let's try that. Just know that, okay, well, I'm doing this willingly. I know it can't work out, but I'm still doing the thing with this person. That way, at least it becomes a choice and you know what you're getting into. And everybody does it. We all do the bargaining thing where we think, well, if this, then maybe that, or if we do this, then maybe that. It's really hard when there's such a great connection to accept it at face value and go, oh, it's, it's only going to be that. So just know that. Just I just want your eyes open. I don't want it to be like you said, well, I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. You just don't want to do it. You know you need to accept things the way they are is the way they are. But it's you want more, so you're negotiating and bargaining. Don't do that. So again, the answer to that is boundaries. And be like, okay, well, I know they said this, but... My standards are such that this and that, and I don't want to be put in that position again. So these are my boundaries for this situation. You're not going to be able to rely on the other person because let's be honest, you might feel like you can't trust yourself with the other person because when they say, you know, to come running, you might as well go running because the attraction is there. So, and I'm not saying, oh, you're weak. No, it's not like that. But let's, let's be real here. I mean, consider what you do, not what you tell your friends or not what you want to think that you do. Let's, let's consider what you do. And it's like, I know myself well enough to know that I need to be this, this, and this. And then 
any kind of action you have is not a reaction, but it's rather you choosing or choosing not to do something. What else would we do? Okay, so we got six of swords and we've got two of wands. Hmm. Is this, okay, so then are you walking away from um, somebody that is not emotionally available? Are you seeing it for what it is and kind of moving past that and looking at other options? Could be. Um, that could be the back and forth that you're doing. We got the, we got eight of swords, we got six of swords, two of wands, and we got looking at the bigger picture and we got the knight of swords. This is kind of that going back and forth, um, pendulum swinging, trying to figure out what to do, staying busy, keeping active, trying to kind of distract yourself because the minute you kind of sit down with it, it might be that, oh, that might compel you to be like, well, I don't want to accept that that's all there is. I don't want to just be that to that person. So just know that this is about what you want, not what kind of box you're being put in. Um, and I think you probably already understand that. That's why you're keeping so busy because you're like, I'm not going to be sitting at home waiting to hear from someone. I'm going to be out and about doing my thing and exploring other options and trying to get some distance between this, you know, not meeting my needs connection, or I want more from this person, they can't give it to me right now, so I'm not gonna sit around and wait. Okay, that there, there you have it. All right, um, Libra, I hope this was helpful. I think the term is an F boy or an F girl, I don't know, I, you know, but I know that there's like a term for that. Somebody's like, you know, text you at two in the morning, you up, you know, okay. That very well could be this person I'm talking about. Just saying. All right. I hope this was helpful. I did just totally dated myself. Uh, I hope to see you in the next reading. I thank you for stopping by and you stay busy this month. All right. You take care.